is not acceptable. We've been deceived, we've been failed, and so many people, young and old, have been drilled with absolute fear. And it's that fear that's been driving this situation forward. The more fearful you are, the easier you are to be controlled and manipulated. The less fearful you are, the harder it is to be. And by us being here today proves that to be true. Because it shows the people at the top of the chain that we are not afraid. We are not afraid and we will fight until fear is overridden by strength, knowledge and unity. Without fear, the powers that be could not control the many. They could not drive people into submission. They could not create division between the people. And they could not strip away one's ability to think for themselves. They could not achieve their agendas. And without the mainstream media, those fears could not be. As a young person, As a young person, it saddens me the most to see so many of my own generation and younger deceived and living in this fear. So many do not realise just how threatened our futures are. And as young people and children, we are the main targets. We are young and ever growing and our minds are very easy to mould and that's been done through the likes of reality TV and the manipulative, addictive, brainwashing, influential ways of social media. The powers that be, they don't want young people especially to know any different than what's presented to us through our phone and TV screens. They don't want us to see the real world for what it actually is. They don't want us to be able to communicate properly, to be strong-minded, and they don't want us by any means to be able to have our own minds. As young, growing individuals, they don't care about us at all. As young people, we always say how much that we want to change the world. And if we really want to do it, we need to start looking up and out from those screens at the real world around us. Open our eyes and empower our young minds with knowledge. Question absolutely everything from social media to mainstream media, to COVID-19. On the 19th of March 2020, the government website stated that the virus was downgraded from being a high consequence infectious disease. Four days later, we went into lockdown. Why? claims that two households can meet at a social distance in an outdoor public space, but not in a pub garden, even though a pub garden is an outdoor public space. In some restaurants, you must wear a mask when ordering takeout food, but not if you're ordering to sit in. But what's the difference? Are you wearing a mask because you are fearful of this virus and others around you? Or are you wearing a mask just because you've been told to in the places that you've been told to wear them out of fear of the consequences? Do you believe everything that you've been told just because you've been told it's happening or it exists or because it's for your own benefit? Or 
Are you able to think for yourself and find out information for yourself instead of the government and the media doing it for you? There is absolutely nothing logical or straightforward about COVID-19. There is a much bigger picture to be looked at. So I would strongly encourage you all to you look into say. the following. Number one, mind space. From the Institute for Government, it's a document that was created in 2010 by the British Gov which discusses how mind control is used to influence the change of behavior in society. That's mind space. Number two, Operation Lockstep. Operation Lockstep is part of a wider document called Scenarios for the Future of Technology and International Development, written by the Rockefellers in 2010. known as the agenda behind COVID-19, everything that has been happening around you and is set to happen in the future is written in that document. These are the people at the top of the chain who have, the, who have had the ways of the world set in plan for decades. They are years ahead of time and I strongly encourage you all to read that document and to understand why our futures are at such stake. I'd also strongly encourage the following to be looked into. UK Column News. Dr. Rashid A. Buttar. And Dr. Vernon Coleman. Woo, legend! These are just three of the many credible, independent people out there who provide us with the truth that's been missing, who have our best interests at heart, and David Icke, and whose information does not deserve to be dismissed. It's time now, more than ever, for people of all ages, everywhere, to unite. We need to take back our lives and our freedoms that we deserve. We need to fight for our futures and start listening to the right people. We need to start empowering each other with knowledge, help one another to take back control of their own minds. Talk to each other, calm and collected, in ways that leaves people thinking and questioning. All of us here today, never stop speaking your truth. the right people. Can I say something pretty safe. quick? Fuck the mask. Forget the mask, yeah? I've torn it off, yeah? yeah. Thank you. Keep the faith. Those who are willing to listen will listen. Because we are the 99%. Yeah. It all depends on how we use it. And with that in mind, I'd just like to finish on a rather inspirational story as Aesop's fable, The Bundle of Sticks. It's a story of an old man, a father to a set of sons, constantly fighting with one another. On the point of his death, the old man calls his sons to be around him to give them some advice. 
He asks his servants to bring forward a bundle of sticks that are all tied together. The old man then asks each of his sons to one by one attempt to break the bundle of sticks. And they each try with all their efforts, but they were all unsuccessful. The old man then orders that the bundle of sticks be untied and each son be given a single stick. When it was done, each stick was told to be broken and each stick was easily broken. The message from the old man to his sons was that individually you can easily be conquered, but together you are invincible. Thank you.